Howdy! It's Jim Arado, and this is the middle of July 2024. We're in Moorhead, Kentucky, leaving Fuzzy Duck Coffee. Uh, one, of, one of my favorite places in Kentucky. That, that's, that might be one of my more favorite coffee shops in the state. And Moorhead is quickly becoming one of my favorite towns in the state. Very, very casual vibe. Of course, uh, they have a state college here that doesn't feel like a state college. They got painted turtles around town too. Uh, but Moorhead to me is just a very, very nice, chill town. And it's uh, it's calm, it's relaxed, and it's got a lot going for it. I, I mentioned Fuzzy Duck. They've also it's connected to uh, Coffee Tree Books, and then there's also a yarn store in there, making it one of the coolest stores in Kentucky. Uh, coffee and books together. Uh, that's that's one of my favorite things. I uh, I really like that. The bookstore always has a nice selection, and uh, they've got good coffee there. It's just just a good place, and I'm very very fond of it. And of course, Moorhead also has um, oh, uh, there's um, great great scenic parks. It's just a beautiful place. You've got the Folk Art Museum. Oh yeah, and Ruta Baker's uh, probably one of my favorite restaurants in the state. Ruta Baker's is here. Uh, so so much to enjoy and it's just you know there's never a crowd I could go on and on uh, my main purpose for coming here today though I wanted to drive out and just check out the area um, Moorhead has a little bit of notoriety if you're into weird stuff uh, UFOs and things like that they did have a strange um, I think it's called the screaming woman incident November 21st, 2003, uh, UFO reports had been occurring shortly before that date, uh, along with some other strange activity. The Adams Lane area had some very strange uh, stuff going on on that particular date around 10 p.m. People called the area emergency dispatch station to say that an object had landed and they could hear a woman screaming for help. Uh, help me, oh God, somebody help me, is the quote that I saw in a couple of sources. And the screaming seems to have been heard after the UFO darted away. Police and others showed up to investigate, but nothing was found. Uh, one of the sources I read, and I, I read a couple of, yeah, I don't want to say iffy sources, but I read a couple of sources. Uh, one source mentioned that th later... Around 3 a.m., somebody reported a toddler roaming around on the road. And, um, again, people investigated and nothing was found. The toddler story, I, I couldn't find... I, I had difficulty finding more on that, but I'm, I only read a couple of sources. And um, this just seems to be a weird case. I, I did find a couple of old news articles. And then there's a couple of books. I know Bart Nunley's book, uh, one of his books... Uh, mention this story and if if you're into weird stories uh, you definitely want to look up Barton Nunley and his uh, his books he's written a few but yeah I think this is the area where it happened I think there's a little golf course over there now and we just drove out and checked it out uh, frankly uh, this this is a nice area we saw some nice homes and this this is the kind of place where um, you know, if I could find a good deal on a house, this would be a great area to retire. Uh, Moorhead is just beautiful, especially in this area. And it, uh, again, you know, you've got a big state school, but it, it feels more like a small private college town to me. Uh, just, just, just from my experiences here. But, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to drive out and check out where things happened. And there it is, for what it's worth. I did, this side story has nothing to do with the main story. Uh, several years ago when we went to adopt our little dog Forrest, Chihuahua Minpin, we went and picked him up in, um, it's in Ohio, but it's right on the Ohio-West Virginia border. And as we were driving back, you know, of course you, you kind of pass Moorhead coming back um, towards where we live and there was a crazy, there were tornadoes and storms. It was a very crazy night. Just almost a supernaturally weird night. And I, I've got that association in my head with Moorhead, too. Um, 
but uh, but anyway yeah so that's that's a little bit on the ufo sighting in moorhead in 20 uh 2003 if you know anything about that let me know um just just a weird story and uh thought i'd put up a video thanks